So now welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tyro. So now if you're first time watching this video or watching my video, don't forget to click on the like and the subscribe button. To start a car business in Canada is very easy. You don't even need to register a business first, but I will advise you to register a business, to have uh, a business registration. But you don't need to if you're starting low. But with time, the reason why I said uh, with time is that if you're earning more than 30000 then you will be, as according to the law, you are required to have a GST account. You can't have a GST without having a business account. And there are so many advantages of, you know, having a business in Canada, especially if you are an immigrant here. So even having a business can help you, you know, to, with your permanent residence. Like if you are in Abata, you know, there's, there is a pathway for a business owner you know, in Abata to get a permanent resident. And the same thing with that province. So as a reseller, you want your vehicle to be a hot kick vehicle, not Mercedes Benz. I, I, for me, I don't go for Mercedes Benz. So I don't go for BMW or any German car. Is that a Japan, an American car? Japan, American, so that is it. Because these are the cars that uh, my range is between two to five thousand. So I want a vehicle that anybody can just buy. The students, high school students, you know, uh, college students, university students, new immigrants, Uber, Do Uber, DoorDash, all these delivery guys, and all. So you need any Toyota product. Any Toyota product is okay. Under product. You know Hyundai product, Ford, Subaru, you know um, all, all this American Japan car. So it's okay. Any one is okay that is within that range. Car business is something that anybody can go into it. Anybody, you're a student, you're a PR, a new immigrant, you can. It's it's. You don't need to be mechanical wise to go into. It. But with time, you will understand car as a mechanic you yourself you will be a mechanic with time but you for now you don't need to have a more idea about cars you need to understand very cool before you go into it if you know how to drive you can go into a car business and because and to, in today's video i'm not talking about buying it you know in large in in numbers so now let's talk about how you can get one or two vehicles buy then you resell so and the only place you can get them is facebook marketplace and kijiji so now because these are all those facebook groups in your community so now if you're in ontario you know there are so many facebook groups about buying or selling you know in ontario if you're in abata there are so many facebook groups in abata you know buying and selling cars and all that in abata. so that is the only place those those are KGG, Facebook Marketplace, and groups, Facebook groups. So some of the catch here is that it needs time. It will take your time. So like, like any other business, you know, you need to spend time searching, you know, on Facebook Marketplace, on KGG, looking for cars. And don't just focus on your community alone. So now most of the time I go round about her on weekend on weekdays I, like i don't even if i'm not at work if, like i work monday to friday and uh but after work most of the time i do go out of my pro uh my location just to source cars i will like, chat with the seller you know fixed time travel for four hours buy bring it home then you know resell sorry i'm i'm in McDonald's, so i'm just eating and all so and just resell so it is very very easy and it's it's it will take your time so you need to have time and you need to dedicate take it as a business so i'll just say like every business uh you know takes need time you need to focus on it and also almost the, all the time you know i'll check edmonton check south edmonton check north edmonton check agri you know, check Lake Bridge, I mean, I'm in Africa, so I check everywhere just to source the best one out there. 
then bring it through. So right now, my plan is just to get a trailer and, you know, start buying all this vehicle with transmission problem, engine problem, and buy a new engine to it and, you know, resell because it has profit. A lot of cars out there, uh, you know, on Facebook market, Marketplace, it has just maybe engine problem. And you'd be like, the engine problem is doing like 2000 Some is not even engine problem. Maybe just minor... Uh, um, uh, engine problem so that it requires maybe like a thousand dollar to fix and the, the person don't want to spend one thousand dollar fixing the vehicle and like okay, I'll sell it. I've seen so many I bought a vehicle from someone a month ago and you know he, he has another one like do you want to buy like the guy was like how much just tell me your price like tell me how much you want to get just uh, transmission problem it's you know uh, well, it drive well, and it's true, the vehicle drive well, but on the fourth year, you know, it starts misfiring and all that. So, everything, you just uh, tell me your price, name your price, but I can't because uh, it's like six hours journey. So, I don't want to risk bringing it down to my location because anything can happen on the way. So, I don't want to risk it. But if I have a trailer... You know, I'll just attach the trailer, put it on the trailer, you know, bind it and bring it down. Take it to the mechanic, you know, my mechanic and see maybe one thousand, one five, fix it, then resell. And I'm talking about these are twenty fourteen model, which I'm gonna see, but I don't have the trailer and I don't wanna risk it. I don't wanna because after paying <laughs> it is hard to get your money back. It's like you are not going to get your money back. So you paid, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. So you are not going to get your money. You can't go back to the seller and tell like, hey, I don't want to buy again. So it's on your own. After doing all the documents, you're on your own. To start a car business in Canada, what you need to know, understand is that, understand the kind of cars people use in your community, so around you. Like where I am right now, people use trucks a lot, you know, those truck uh, vehicle and all. But I will not advise you as a starter to go for truck. Number one thing is that it is very, very expensive, you know, to, you know, to get a truck, you know, to resell a truck. And also, you know, uh, it takes a while before you sell one. So you want something that within a week, within two weeks is gone. So you get your money and you get your profit then you use it to get another one. And I would advise you to start, if you want to start as a, you know, on a low budget, you can start from 1,000 to 5,000 Canadian dollar. Get a vehicle within that range. The reason and where you're going to get a vehicle is the Facebook marketplace. So you can get a vehicle within one to 5K on Facebook marketplace check you know understand what is wrong with the vehicle understand check what is um what's it called uh, if the vehicle has uh, you know uh, has a rust check if it has an engine problem check if it has a transmission problem check if it has you know any kind of problem that is that is your bargaining you know uh power because if the vehicle has any little problem then you can use it to bargain and lower you know uh the price you know from the seller and what if now i said you don't need to have an experience in selling of car even in cars you don't need to have experience in you know checking vehicle or mechanical experience before you start a business how are you going to do it if you have a vehicle you know like if you see a vehicle let's say this is a phone this is a vehicle i'm just using my phone as an example so uh, like this is very cool uh what you do is that take it uh, when you negotiate with the customer so before finalizing so now what you just do is that look for any mechanic around you tell the customer that you guys should go to the nearest mechanic so now and most of them charge from 50 to 100 dollars so they will help you to check everything so you don't need to have any mechanical experience so, if, you know, just take it to any mechanic around that location. The mechanic will check 
everything from the transmission to the engine you know to everything that is that may be wrong with the vehicle to the tire everything so now and the mechanic will list you know any issue for you like these are the issue like he thinks you know the vehicle has and all so those issues are the thing that you will use if you still like the vehicle and you think that the issue is just a minor issue most of the time the mechanic will list the cost so to fix uh, to fix uh, the vehicle so now you know those are the if you think that okay the cost is still minimum it's still within you know your power you like the vehicle you know because it's it's, it's a vehicle that you think that is okay especially for people doing now uh, instacart you know and DoorDash and all that so now and most of these people do go for a vehicle of uh, within two to five thousand dollars so they just want a vehicle that will take them from point a to point b so now but one thing about toyota products is that now toyota products are very expensive it's not if you can't get them but toyota products are very expensive but you can still um i still sold a toyota product 2209 you know a few days ago for six thousand dollars and i bought it for three thousand eight hundred dollars so and the next day because the water products are on scale so the next day i sold it for six thousand dollars so now but they are very so they are hard to come by but on scale but you can still find them if, even most of the time i do go from you know fort mark to calgary like eight hours journey eight hours trip so you know nine hours trip to get you know to water product and come back because I know that I will definitely see my profit, enough profit. So Toyota products are hot cake. If I find a Toyota product that is within my province, I'm going for it. I don't fucking, except maybe uh, the prices, it maybe is on the high side because there are some times that, you know, the seller wants to like increase and be like, nah, 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 nah. I, I, I can't risk this. So now just make sure that the price is between i'm talking about a new seller like a reseller you know with a low budget just make sure it's between five thousand so now anyone you know gets the you know buy the car three thousand and check if it's something that you want to repair you know there are some issues that will run with the car that you just like if if i bought a car and i realized that it has a spark or a plug problem you know, maybe just a plug for problem or maybe low oil and all that i will not fix it most of the time i won't fix it i'll just tell hey you just need to change because you're buying a second hand car so i'm going to tell the buyer hey, just change the uh, plug you're good to go so just low oil and you're good to go you know uh, i'm going to, if it's just a minor problem like minor is still drivable just a little problem or maybe a windscreen crack, you know. Just gonna you know, hey, just fix it. So you get like is you getting a second. So, but if it's something that like, let's say sensor problem, you know, like a major sensor, you know, there are some sensor like if it has oxygen sensor, I'm not fixing it. But I'm gonna tell the you know seller it, it has it only the only issue is that it has oxygen sensor. And which will cost you maybe like fifty dollar to buy, you know, just change the oxygen sensor and all that, or so maybe twenty dollar. So now, but if it's all a major sensor problem, then I will try and fix it. Most of the time, I don't take my car to the mechanic. There are some all those uh, uh, weekend mechanic. They are also certified mechanic, but need weekend job. So that's I don't go to mechanic shop. Because you're a reseller, you're trying to like, you know, reduce cost. You know, you don't want to taking a, a, a car to a shop, a mechanic shop. You are going to spend more and all that because you know you take the you they, they will charge you for the shop and some other thing. But there are all these you know mechanic that want to work on weekend and all. So now you just I'll take it to their house, you know, to their small garage. So now all these people they don't have shops so they, they or they will come to my house and they will fix it so now and we'll pay so they will just change the sensor they will change any major components that need to be changed 
So that is it, and it cost me maybe like five hundred dollars, you know, to change. Then I'll add it up to the selling price. So far, the vehicle is still within five thousand. Still within, and you can get them on Facebook Marketplace. A lot of vehicle of that range are on Facebook Marketplace with major and minor problem. You can get them on Kijiji. So now, now uh, concerning registering your company, if you now earn more than thirty thousand, and you can earn more than thirty thousand within a month. So now, if you earn more than thirty thousand, so within a year, according to the law, you must register your company. And thirty thousand is something that you will earn, you know, that will pass through. No, no, like sorry for that. Not if you earn not. 30,000 as a profit, like 30,000 as a gross income. So now if you earn 30,000 as a gross income, like gross income means the money you earn before you start removing, you know, your uh, maybe profit, expenditures and everything. So that means if you sell like, uh, you know, like five or six cars in a month and all together, you 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 are like thirty thousand has passed through your account. So then, in total, then uh, what's it called? You have you need to have a GST, and it is very very important to have that. You know that is why because it will help you in the long run. It shows that you are paying tax. So if you have a GST, that means if any vehicle you are selling, you have to include the GST charges. To the money. If you're selling a vehicle of five thousand dollars, so you have to, depending on your province, so you have to, you know, include maybe it's fifteen percent or you know twenty percent. I don't know, depending on of ten percent, you need to include the GST in that car. So that is it. Like anybody can become can sell cars. You know, a student, new immigrant. Now, anybody can go into you know car business and i'm not talking about car business you know uh, to send to nigeria or send back home this is within canada so it's something that people it's, it's an untapped business that i will recommend anybody can go into it but i will also advise get a business you know register your business because it has so many advantage, like it has so many advantage to register your business. Register your business and so because even with that, you can have a dealer plate number so you can go for, you know, attach a dealer plate number to the vehicle and bring it down from anywhere you, you know, you buy the vehicle. But register, it costs $50 to register a business online in Canada. A sole proprietorship. So it costs fifty dollars. So you can start with that. So now I, I don't want. Uh, I think I said is uh, is option is not optional. Like it is, it has the benefit is more than you know this disadvantage of having a business, registered business in this country. You will not know when you will need it. Even if you didn't, you like you stop doing the car business. A day will come that you will need that business registration number. Maybe doing one application, doing one store, or you no, know, the other. They will just require request for even doing PR, permanent resident residency application. They do request for it. Especially when they now find out that you are doing well, like you're paying your tax, you're doing more than fifty hundred thousand revenue. You know. In a year, and it is, it is. You can do more than that. In car business, you can do more than that. So I will say it is very, very important to you know have that. So because of the benefits that attached to it, even loan. You know, if you're doing well, you're paying your tax and all that. Bank will want to lend you loan, a business loan, and not just to boost your business. No. So my name is Taiwo, if you have any comment or anything, and, okay, 
So now maybe on my next video or maybe before the end, maybe if, maybe if you want me to talk more about it, then maybe we can talk more about auction cars you know, and all that. But auction cars is for people that have high, you know, capital. They want to go to auction just because of one car. <laughs> so that is it. So it's it 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 you have you need to have an high capital. But if you want to sell, uh, you know, you have the high capital, and you, or you want me to talk about auction cars or how to send it back home and all that. So then maybe on my next video I can do more about that. So now if you have a comment or you have any question to ask me, don't forget to drop it as a comment below, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.